our top 10. Thank you, sir, for coming to our rescue so promptly. And of course, let's give a round of applause to the to our official tabulators for tonight. Come on! But apart from that, the official tabulators are doing a very good job in providing us that very much awaited result as fast as they could. Let me just check if this is the top 10. Okay. All right, we're all set. This is not a drill. This is our top 10 semi-finalists. At this moment, we will narrow the search. Tarlaqueños, this is the top 10 semi-finalists. In no particular order, congratulations for being the first semi-finalist for tonight. Candidate number... Let's start with candidate number 5. Joining him is candidate number eight from the municipality of Capas, Real Ayan Julio. Our next finalist is you. Candidate, candidate number nine. The Lux City, Christopher Clarence Solano. Right from the beginning of your candidate number, you've indeed been lucky. Candidate number seven from the municipality of Concepcion, John Pearl Sablan. And those fans go wild. We can stop there. Congratulations as well. Candidate number three from Paniki, Sean Ray Ferrer. Come on and step up your game. Candidate number 14 from Santa Ignacia, Clyde Franz Claudio. That's six. We only have four finalists to announce. And one of those is you. Candidate number four. And it's not too late for you either. Candidate number 15 from the Municipality of San Jose, Rex Roy Capital. We only have two finalists left to go further. Two candidates to go. See the bump going on the top 10. Congratulations, candidate number 10, San Clemente, Elimar Sidoro. From 16 gentlemen all across our lap, we cut them down to 10, with our last candidate being number 316, from the Bonus Matio and Healing, Joshua J. Giacomo. to our top 10 finalists. There you go. And to all of our non-finalists as well, congratulations. Congratulations to our top 10 semi-finalists. I hope you guys back there have a collective breath of relief. Or two, because you're going to need it, and you're going to need to have all your nerves intact for our next segment. The moment of truth has arrived, and we enter the most exhilarating segment of the evening, the question and answer round. This is where our contestants showcase not only their outer charm, but also their intellect, eloquence, and the depth of their character. Let's begin the Q&A round with... Kino on number five from the municipality of Moncada. Hi, good evening. How do you feel that you were the first one to be called to make it into the top ten? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's just being very humble. I'm sure you knew that you were gonna make it. But anyways, let's start the QA, shall we? Are you ready for your question? Yes. Okay. I believe that you have no choice but to be ready, right? Okay, pick your judge for tonight. Your judge for tonight, let's have Direct Sean Lim. Alright, hello number five. 
And my question for you is, in your opinion, what qualities make a true gentleman? And how do you embody those qualities in your daily life? Uh, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat, Tarla. At maraming salamat po sa napakagandang tanong. Para sa akin po, magiging, magiging handsome po or gentleman ng isang tao kapag maganda po ang kanyang panlabas na anyo at pangloob na anyo. Dahil hindi po nasusukat kung gaano ka kapogi, kung gaano kaganda ang katawan mo, dapat maganda rin ang kalooban mo. Kaya mo tumulong sa mga kapwa-tao, kaya mong panindigan ang mga sinasabi mo. Dahil yun po yung pinakamaganda ehemplo po o image ng isang image ng isang malaking or magandang lalaki. Maraming salamat. Magandang gabi. Tayla! Thank you for that. You know our number five? Oh, the next finalist, candidate number eight from the municipality of Capas. One, Riel E. Antulio. Well, you have a lot of fans. Do you want to thank them? Uh, thank you. Sa mga classmates ko dyan. Thank you. Sana ako, ganun ka support yung mga classmate. Classmate ba lang talaga? Nobody else is there for you? Oh. Hmm. Are you ready? Okay. You wait now, pick your judge. Your judge is Mr. Pawi Ventura. Renate, congratulations for making it to the top 10. Your question is, how do you plan to inspire and empower other men to pursue their dreams and make positive contributions to society. Maya, pabingi kaya kayo ang Tarla Enos. Ang magandang, ang pinakamagandang way para ma-inspire po yung ibang lalaki tulad ko po is by becoming their voice, becoming their role model po. By, by giving them the example of becoming a true disciplined one, a responsible Responsible in inspiring others, responsible in uplifting the Tarla, and of course, responsible in becoming the one who will represent the Tarla in the bigger stage. Thank you. Thank you so much for that answer, candidate number eight. Calling up our next finalist for tonight, candidate number nine from Tarla City, Christopher Morales Solano. Hello, are you glad to be here? Yes, I am. And do you have any message to your loud fans over there? Maraming salamat po sa mga fans ko nandiyan. Okay. Let's move on and pick your judge. Let's have Miss Chantal Elise Schmidt. Good evening, candidate number nine. Good evening, ma'am. Are you ready for your question? Yes, I am ready. What do you think is the most pressing issue facing young men today, and what steps do you propose to address it? To answer that question, I believe that being in love as a man is number one problem right now. Because I myself, I was raised by a single mother, and he filled me with love and care. And as your Ginoong Kalahi, I am here standing before you as a symbol of hope, compassion, and change. Once again, I am Christopher Clarence D. Solano, a proud Terlakenyo, and I'm willing to, be res to take responsibility to be your next Ginoong Kalahi. Thank you. Thank you so much for that answer, candidate number nine. And now we move on with candidate Number seven from the municipality of Concepcion, Anjan Pabakayo. I must say, I really love your outfit tonight. Uh, who's your designer? Um, Mr. Rick Sama from Pampanga. Is there anyone else you'd like to thank who's been part of your journey? Of my family and my yung mga kabarangay ko po. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's like alligator skin partner, right? It looks very expensive. It looks like it, yeah. Anyway, are you ready for your question? Okay, yes. Your judge for tonight, our chairman of the board of judges, Mr. Brandon Espirito. How's it going, brother? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, Paul. 
It's good to hear. All right, I got a really important question for you, and I really like this question, actually. How would you encourage young men to embrace diversity and inclusivity in all aspects of their life? For me, um, how can I inspire or how can I encourage a man to embrace inclusivity and diversity? First of all, I would um, share my experience on how impactful embracing diversity is. Just like this pageant, I like um, what, how this pageant embrace diversity. We have different cultures coming from this pageant, different advocacies, and also different stories. But nonetheless, we are here rallying on the same road, and that is for the betterment of the community. And I would tell that child that embracing, embracing diversity is very important in today's generation. Thank you. Hi, you look like somebody out of a movie, you know, like that cute little boy next door. Oh, like an action yeah. star. How are you feeling today, brother? I'm actually nervous, but I have no choice but to push through. Oh. Indeed, I love a resilient guy. Well, you know what they say, if you prepared for something, it's useless to be nervous. Did you prepare for this moment? Preparation is everything. <laughs> That's what I'd like to hear. Let's go ahead and pick your judge for tonight. Your judge is Mr. Raven Rigor. Uh, good evening, candidate number three. Uh, here's your question. How do you believe your personal values and principles align with the responsibilities of being a Ginoong Kanlahi title holder? Again, how do you believe your personal values and principles align with the responsibilities of being a Ginoong Kanlahi title holder? Um, thank you for that question. I think one of the most important, um, one of the most important principles of this Ginoong Kanlahi is that my ability to influence and inspire other people positively. I know that God sent me here for a reason, and I am here right now, standing, trying to represent my municipality and. I hope that I will make my municipality proud and I know that God sent me here for a reason and that is to be a harbinger of hope, a catalyst for a positive change and a voice of resilience. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that impactful answer. I'm glad that we're keeping the ball rolling here. Let's keep the ball rolling with candidate number 14 from Santa Dasha. Mr. Clyde France Claudio, how are you tonight, friends? I'm feeling wonderful tonight. I'm just, I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. It's top 10 already. And Santa Ignacia, we made it. Thank you so much for the support. You're one step closer to the crown. And uh, without further ado, let's move on and pick your judge. Your judge would be Mr. Sean Sulin. Good evening, candidate number 14. Good evening, sir. So here's my uh, question for you. As a role model for young men, how do you intend to promote mental health awareness and break the stigma surrounding it? Going through pandemic, men are always labeled as strong-minded. They're always what they call tihaligi ng tahanan. And because of that, we tend to forget that they also have emotional intelligence or emotional capability. I always believe in order to give priority to their mental health, I believe it is to show their vulnerability. That is the exact same thing that I did back then. Because I'm not afraid to seek help to professionals. Because I believe with proper help, medication, and medical practitioners, we can help our men to, to give um, protection to their mental health. Thank you so much, Tayla. Thank you so much for that. You know, all number 14 is deep. With that pressing issue, men are really on the downside of that, on the short end of the stick. So I'm glad you had that wonderful experience, and I'm sure a lot of people will be inspired by that too. I couldn't agree more, partner. Anyway, let's keep the ball rolling with candidate number four from the municipality of Arau. Nico Esquivel. Good evening, Nico. And congratulations for making it to the top 10. Do you have any message to your family and friends? 
I just want to say thank you to all the supporters na kahit sobrang layo ng anaw, ba't ka nandito ayaw? Maraming salamat, ma! I love you! What a sweet song we have here. Without further ado, let's pick your judge for tonight. You picked Miss Valerie Amber. Good evening, Mr. Anaw. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening tonight. So my question for you is, how do you plan to leverage your influence as Ginoong Kantahe to address important social issues in our community? Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you for the question. Um, for me, uh, we all know that mental health is the number one issue in social. And for me, as a Ginoong Kalahi, I receive a lot of I receive a lot of criticism before this pageant, saying that I'm not good enough. I'm in the wrong path. But then I use that. I use that as an instrument for me to grow, to be better, and to be the best versions of myself. And now that I'm here standing in front of you. I wanted to influence all of the people, not only here in Tarlac province, but the whole people around the world. That if I can do, if I can do it, you can do it too. That's all, thank you. Thank you so much for that amazing answer. That's candidate number four, the ladies and gentlemen. He really made his mama proud of that note. I couldn't agree more. That's seven finals down, three to go. Our next candidate is... We're halfway through, and let's call on, you know, 15. Representing the municipality of San Jose. Can we have the fans of San Jose? There you are. Is your family right here watching? Do you have any message for them before you answer your question? I want to thank them po na nandito sila at po po yan para suporta na. Maraming maraming salamat. There you go. Are you ready for your question? Are you ready for your question? Yes. I'm okay. Ready. You pick our chairman of the board of judges once again, Mr. Brandon Espiritu. How are you? Uh, okay. Beautiful. What initiatives would you implement to promote the physical and emotional well-being of men in our society? Ang una-una ko pong gagawin sa lahat, ay sisimulan ko sa sarili ko. Saan ba nagbumula ang pagbabago, di ba sa sarili rin naman natin? So sisimulan ko ipakita sa lahat ng na narito, ako na kaya ko maging physically fit, ano maging mentally fit. At isa pa, gagamitin ko, gagamitin ko ang platformang ito, ang patimpalak na ito, para inspire ang lahat ng tao. Hindi lang naman ng kalalakihan na kagaya, kundi lahat tayo. Basta, uh, kailangan natin, kailangan lang natin maging totoo sa sarili natin upang mag, maging, maging a uh, best version tayo ng sarili natin. Yun lamang po at maraming nga nasa. Well done. That's candidate number 15, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for that, sir. And we're down to our second to the last ginoo, namely ginoo 10. Come right down, please. Thank you. Representing municipality of San Clemente. I could definitely hear you before I could see you with all that. Um, but would you like to make some noise or some gratitude and some noise before we start? Um, unang una po, gusto ko pong pasalamatan yung fellow San Clement, uh, San Clemente people ko. Uh, my family, my girlfriend, uh, my brothers last year, and my mayor, uh, Mayor Elma, Lara ng Makadamia. Um, at salamat po sa lahat ng nandito ngayon. Yung po. Are you ready for your question for tonight? You pick Mr. Dennis Montenegro. Good evening, LMR. Take a Good deep e breath. You're on top 10. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Here's your question. In a world where gender roles are evolving, how do you define the role of men in promoting gender equality and empowering women? Para po sa akin, bilang lalaki, pinapakita din po namin ang katangian ng isang babae, um, which is yung pagiging vulnerable. At para po sa akin, isang way po ito na mapalakas o ma-empower ang mga kababaihan upang maintindihan sila. At ganun din po sa amin, dahil binibigyan po namin sila ng chance, dahil meron na po tayong mga um, babae na nag-work, ang um, work ng lalaki, which is mga police um, leaders, at para po sa akin, lagi po nating tandaan na 
Um, may pagkakaiba po tayo, and we are unique, and we are all valid. Yun lamang po, salamat. Thank you so much. That's candidate number 10, ladies and gentlemen. Concise, but very clear with that note. And we are down to our last Gino of the night for this segment, Gino number 16. You're definitely excited for this round, aren't you? I'm very excited and so overwhelmed being picked last year is really a feeling. Does that make you nervous? It makes me yeah, nervous because of the expectations I carry right now. But I'm enjoying the show. That's the most important thing. That's what matters, brother. Let's go ahead and pick that last judge. Once again, let's have Miss Chantal Elise Schmidt. Good evening, candidate number 16. How are you tonight? Good evening. I'm feeling, feeling great because uh, I love the show. I love the stage. That's great to hear. Are you ready for your question? I'm ready. Can you share an example of a significant challenge you faced in your life and how did you overcome it? Once again, can you share an example of a significant challenge you faced in your life and how did you overcome it? Thanks for that question. I'm 25 years old and I'm in my life now where I'm in the midlife crisis. I'm overthinking about my career and I'm struggling to find what path I need to choose. But in order to uplift myself, in order to move on, I needed to stay positive. And that's why I'm here. I'm here sharing this platform, I'm here sharing this uh, kind of trait to all of the people around me. To stay positive because any struggles, any challenges we face in this life, if we stay positive, all the things, all the good things will go to us naturally. Thank you, Tarla. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the judges' question and answer round. Let's give a round of applause to our outstanding top 10 semi-finalists. You know what point the courage it took for them to stand here, answer a question they're not aware of, and to be able to express their thoughts in an impromptu way.